How good is that little ding notification you get when you make yourself a sale? You put in all that hard work to go and find the item, you've taken your photos, you've cleaned it, you've made it look good, and then you've sold it. And that little ding notification is everything. It gives you all the motivation that you need to make another listing. And for me today, I actually got a whole lot more of them than I normally do. Was that, was that another ding? Was that another ding? What is going on? So after a wildly productive morning getting all my odd jobs done, I had a look at my numbers and I actually had a whole heap come through. We had a total of eight sales just this morning come in on my eBay store, $714 worth of revenue and I had a monster day yesterday of about 566 bucks. Guys, I'm a full-time reseller, I sell on eBay and I normally like to do about 500 bucks a day. So to be sitting here at lunchtime and we're on $714 in revenue, I've never had a thousand dollar sales day. This could be the day. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update any, any sales that do come through. I'm gonna put it up in the right-hand corner for you as the video goes on and hopefully by the end of it, I can hit that thousand bucks. Um, we're gonna do a couple of things today. I am gonna go and do my picking and packing of the Wednesday post. So we've had a total of 20 sales come through. $1,400, $1,400 in revenue on these 20 items that we're about to do. So I wanna show you them because they're good. $1,400 for 20, that's about 70 bucks worth of average sale price. Whole lot more than what I normally do. Uh, a lot of DVDs, about 15 of the 20 have come from the DVD category. So I'm gonna take you through those in just a second. Uh, and then we're gonna take $500 of that profit out of the $1,400 that has come in. And we're gonna go out and buy more items, aren't we? Because that's what we do. You gotta reinvest back into your business. So uh, oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be a massive day. I'm looking forward to getting into it. I'm really up and about, as you can tell, with all of these sales that have come through this morning. So let's go and have a look at some of these DVDs. And then we'll get in the car and we'll go out and find some stuff. All right, guys. So out of that $1,400 worth of sales, 14 of the 21 sales for DVDs. So check it out. Have a look. Before I go through some price points, what do you see out of this collection of sales that are similarities? I can tell you right now, the first thing that I'm noticing is there is a lot of BBC. Uh, there is a lot of Acorn Media as well. I was seeing that before. There it is there. Acorn Media, one thing to be looking for. A bit of ITV never goes astray either when you're looking for your DVDs. So just a couple of clues there, guys. But as you can notice, the big uh, dead giveaway here is they are all box sets. They're all TV shows and they all sell really well. The sell-through rate on all of these, we're talking just a few days worth of listing uh, to get these ones turned around. So some really good numbers to come here. Uh, the Frighteners with Michael Jason Fox, the only movie standalone DVD there, $14.50. Uh, we've got a complete series one and two here of Linton's Diary. I uh, haven't heard of this one here, but it was Fremantle Media, which is a good one to be finding. Um, that one there sold for $19.50, I believe. Uh, a similar story here for the Bleachley Circle series one and two. Uh, got about 20 bucks for that as well. The Grand, the complete collection, that's something you want to be finding. 25 bucks on that one there. Uh, the same here for Spoils War, we got $25, which I thought was pretty good. Just a little series one to three. Uh, we move into the Palaceers or the Palacers. Haven't heard of this one either. Uh, got a nice little box collection here, a classic drama series. Uh, this one here sold for $32.50 on a best offer. So that was good. Um, all of these are going to go into a satchel, a small satchel. It won't cost uh, too much money, about $7.50 to ship them off. Uh, all the Rivers Run 1 and 2, haven't heard of this. Not sure if it's a, a, a DVD up my alley. I don't know if I'll be spending any time uh, watching this one, but $35 for some lucky punter out there that was able to purchase that one. So thank you very much. Uh, the Prime Suspect, the complete collection, got a really good turn around here, 35 bucks. That was a great result uh, for that one there with Helen Mirren. Um, this one as well, Judge John Deed. I've got series one to five here, yet another series, yet another BBC. $42.75 for that one there, guys. That's going into a small satchel as well. I can always play up to five in a small satchel. Uh, this one's going overseas, Medium. Who used to watch that TV show? Series four, five, and six. Uh, we've got a $30 sale price plus $20 or $25 worth of international shipping. So uh, that was a fantastic result for that one there as well. Uh, another BBC right here, guys. The House of Elliot, the complete collection, one to three, a $55 sale price on this one here, guys. So if you could be finding that, uh, geez, you can do yourself some numbers. Uh, Penelope Keith, um, this one went internationally as well, off to the UK. 
We've got a $38.95 sale price plus $20 worth of international postage. Uh, look, I'm typically doing about $20 to $25 for international postage rates, unless we're talking about the big boppers right here. That one sold internationally. I'll get to that one in a second. This one right here, another classic BBC drama series, guys. That's what they're all doing today. Um, we've got this one done for $60, series one to four of the classic TV show, when the boat comes in. Now this one here, this is the real money maker, guys. A country practice, the early years, seasons one to six, 119 DVDs. You wouldn't believe it. I've sold it for $400 plus $100 worth of international postage as well. So a $500 sale on a country practice. One of the biggest Bolo DVDs you could be finding. It's in light new condition and I'm happy to see it go out the door. So guys, $977 has come through in the last two days in the DVD category. If this if this image, if this shot right here doesn't tell you to get into DVDs, nothing will. All right, I've just knocked over the post and uh, I did see a couple of sales come through while I was doing it. So I don't exactly know what we're up to from an accumulation perspective, but the, the little number down at the bottom of the screen will let you know here. Hopefully we can get to that thousand dollars. Just before I left, I did just send off a couple of best offers as well, which I think is always a good thing to do to generate some sales. So hopefully those best offers are gonna help us there. Um, we're gonna go and spend this $500 that we've been able to accumulate over the last two days. And I really wanted to kick things off uh, in the pawn shop, a pawn shop that I haven't been in for quite some time that usually produces some pretty good results for me. So let's go dive into that pawn shop now and we'll see what we can find. So many collectibles in this store. Have a look at all of these consoles. There was just a lot to pick through, a lot of games to sift through as well. But I found this first up, the Super Mario Lunchbox, just the $9, a 1993 vintage lunchbox in excellent condition. So that was gonna be my first little buy, but all of the value lied in the glass cabinet in this store. So I got one of the staff to help me out and get me in there. And there were some really cool finds. And we've also got, what are these? These are Game Boy. Yeah, nice. And then we've got one for the Dreamcast too, which is pretty interesting. Dreamcast as well. Oh. Pretty incredible. Throwback stuff. But then you got these. I know, and they're still like sealed up too. Yeah, and obviously that you guys are putting the protective casing on. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah like the, the shrink. I'm not sure about this, like this hard plastic is nice, but this shrink wrap. The that's, shrink wrap over the top. Us, yeah. Yeah. To protect it. The box is just a little bit damaged there. Yeah, that it? one was definitely lower its value. Yeah, but these aren't too bad. Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, they're just absolute Crazy. classics, aren't they? Yeah. No Mario Kart. Yeah, I know. Was that in and sold or? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. So pawn shops are synonymous for matching eBay price points, and that's pretty much what I was seeing in this cabinet. There was one game, though, out of that little collection that I did end up picking up, so stick around and I'll let you know what it was. I've got this one here as well. This was the Super Saiyan 4 Sengoku. Uh, really cool action figure, a real big guy too, but 120 bucks, just a little bit steep. The Star Trek Next Generation action figures at $19. Couldn't find too many comps on eBay for me to go ahead with the purchase on that. But this one here was definitely something that caught my eye. We've got Supernatural on Blu-ray, the complete collection, season one to 15 for a hundred bucks. Now I've actually seen this in this store a couple of weeks ago. So I know these guys have been holding on to it for quite some time, which makes me think I might be able to drop a price on them a little bit to get my hands on this. Big, big comps on eBay for Supernatural. So I've gone ahead and I've picked that one up as well. So have a look at that one. Yep. And then you're definitely okay with the Donkey Kong. I'll just take it up behind the camera. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then while I'm there, I'll check this one for you. Yeah, sweet, mate. You but I'll, um, I'll keep having a look. But yeah, yeah, Donkey Kong, that and that for now. And I'll keep having a bit of a scan. Yeah, man. No worries. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, good, man. Going with those three today, man? I would, mate, yeah. So that's 100, that's 159, and then right. that was the nine. That, yeah, that's the nine, yeah. Would, If I threw that in, could you do 250? 250? For the lot? Um, I don't even know how much it comes to. I think at the moment it's 259. There's not a massive amount of movement on these three things, man. Yeah. Um, we're close, we can do 255. So we cleaned it up, we can do 255. All right, mate. That's the closest we've ever got. No worries. Let's do that. Easy, man. You're good. Much appreciated. No worries, man. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for your help. Yeah, no worries. See you later. What an awesome little run in that pawn shop, guys. They always seem to deliver. I've got Supernatural 1 to 15 here. The complete series on Blu-ray goes for about 300 bucks in brand new condition. I should be able to push about 250 
for that one there. So I'm happy to pay 100 bucks on that. That's gonna be some serious profit. I should be able to make about $61 in profit off this one as well. We've got Donkey Kong on the Nintendo 64, the absolute classic Nintendo 64 game. I've paid myself 150 bucks to get my hands on it, but I should be able to net myself that 61 bucks if it goes on to sell for 250. It's in a protector, it's in good condition. I should be all right. Had to say yes to that one there. Would have loved to have bought the rest as well, uh, but I had to pass because the price points just weren't allowing too much in profit. And then a little vintage uh, lunchbox. How cool is that? Got the born in 93 there on the tag. Um, this was awesome. It was thrown in Nintendo Super Mario lunchbox. That's going to go for about 30, 35 bucks. No dramas whatsoever. So guys, we're looking at about $530 worth of value and I spent $250. So these three items was an absolute banger. But what happened while I was in there is I was actually in communication with a lady on Facebook Marketplace and she's got a huge collection of DVDs and Blu-rays that she's happy to sell off to me for almost a dollar a piece. And there's a lot of TV shows and a lot of them are sealed as well. It's about a 30 minute drive. We're going to go and do that right now. We're going to keep spending all this money to hopefully make a heap of money on eBay. All right, we're here. This is a bit of a lucky dip, guys, because I just saw the listing with a couple of different TV shows that I like the look of. Um, but it wasn't all photos of every single DVD. So there's going to be a few that I just simply haven't seen, and I'm just hoping that they're going to be good. So let's run in there. I'll try and film as much as I can, and uh, let's pick it up. I'm spending $300. Yeah. Right, box more. Oh, you got a heap there, eh? Two boxes and another bag. And it was a lot of TV. Was that right? <laughs> yeah, TV, TV in shows? there. Yeah. yeah, nice. Unreal. What, um, um, oh, geez, what have we got in there? And it, it, was there any other video games or anything I was going to ask as well? Or was no video just, games, no. Just DVDs. No. Yeah, okay. A whole lot of Blu-rays in there as well. Blu-rays as well. Okay, mate. Oh, and it was 300 too, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, no dramas. Brilliant. All right. That's going to be... This is going to be a real lucky dip because I couldn't even get through the boxes. So he'd already packed them all up for me and he just basically, as you would have seen, he said 300 bucks, let's get it done. So let's just get back home. Let's get back home and open it up and hope for the best. $300 gamble. Add it up. Just $121.55 away from my first ever $1,000 day. I think my best ever day on eBay in two years of reselling is about $800. So already $878 is a record, but I wanna go for that thousand bucks. It's five o'clock, I've got seven hours left in the day. Hopefully we can land this hundred bucks and get ourselves over the line. Just put a bunch of fresh listings up into my eBay store. So I'm hoping that's gonna help me get over the line. 10 new listings, hopefully the algorithm gives me a bit of a boost. I won't explain to you the numbers here on this calendar, but ultimately I'm running a bit of an experiment with the guys in the 30% club. I put a video out on Monday to those guys to challenge them to give this sort of thing a go. And hopefully we can see our sales numbers spike. I've got this big now, I've got so many DVDs here to sift through now. And if you're new to the channel, you may not know that I've actually always done this in the past when I've sourced DVDs. Facebook Marketplace is a great way to go about it. You can get a whole heap as you've just seen me do for $300. I've got a bit of a golden rule when it comes to DVD on Marketplace. So I always then start to scan every single one when I get back home and I try and look for DVDs that are worth $10 or more. I've, all, I've bought all of these for a dollar, so I'm gonna end up making about three to four dollars worth of profit after fees and postage is taken out. It's a small amount, but these numbers really do add up over time. So I'm gonna sift through all of the 300 DVDs we've just picked up, and I'm gonna pull out the ones that are good, and I'm gonna let you know how much I think I can get out of this $300 bag. All right guys, so I've done some scanning. I haven't done everything. There's still a whole lot more to go through, but there's a bit of an idea as to how I'm going. All of these aren't worth much money at all, so I've just put them off to the side, but there are a couple of winners here and I've been just writing a few notes down. I've got $245 just out of these DVDs right here with all the different price points. So a couple of the really good ones that I found were Ninja Scroll, the series. We've got volumes one to three here. Um, you can get about 40 bucks for that on eBay, so that was a really good start. Life on Mars, I've done this one before. Uh, seasons 1 and 2, that one goes for $40. I've actually sold that for $40 myself uh, in the past, so there's already $80 worth of value. 
Uh, and then this one here, Memento, this is a really random DVD, just a movie uh, with Guy Pearce, and it actually sells for $20. There's a heap, a heap of comps on eBay for that one there. So uh, when you add up all of these, the bills in there as well, which is really good. Black Books, the collection, that's not too bad either. Uh, Vicious is worth about $15 as well. So look, 245 bucks just out of these 10 or so DVDs. So to pay $300 for absolutely everything, there's gonna be a whole heap of profit in this lot. Alright, so it's nine o'clock and I've just sat down for my nightly wheat fix, like I always do. And um, I'm talking to a guy here called Trent. He's a viewer of the channel and I've been telling him what I've been up to and trying to hit my relentless pursuit of a thousand dollar sales day and uh, he's um he's messaged me back and he just said to me just then he goes, I've got you. And I don't know I don't know how he's, I don't know what he's gonna do here, but obviously it looks like with $90 left to go, he's gonna jump onto my store. I'm just waiting for a response or a notification to pop up with him buying something, but really, really cool of him if he does do that because we're one sale away. If we get a $100 sale, game over. We've been able to achieve it. There it is. There it is, 007 on the Nintendo 64 Trent. Thank you so much, man. That is, that is epic, we've done it, guys, $1,000. Oh, that is so cool, 125 bucks. Oh, so I sent a best offer, so he's accepted one of my best offers that I sent off to him a little bit earlier. That must have been him earlier on, I had no idea. That's incredible, Trent. Thank you very much, mate. We've just hit our first ever, after two years of slogging it out on eBay, our first ever $1,000 sales day. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We've got a Melbourne meetup taking place this Saturday with Jackson Amanda from Oz Treasure Hunters at the local tap house in St Kilda. Hopefully you can make it. Let me know on Instagram if you want to come along. It starts at 6 o'clock. Uh, if you're into the DVDs after watching this video and you missed this one that I published not too long ago, I'll leave you with it. Go and check it out. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you soon.